What's up guys, it's Jersey Sand here and I'm here with my colleagues and we're going to be discussing if GT Pack 1 and 2 are actually worth it. Alright, I'm going to let them introduce, introduce themselves. Hello everybody of YouTube, I am Rob the Sand. What is going on guys? My name is Joey or the DBT123 and I'm doing another discussion with these guys so I'm going to let the booty warrior introduce himself. Oh my god, Joey's intro actually what didn't take up half of the video. <laughs> I'm so surprised. <laughs> but what's going on guys? Black Super Sam back on the mic once again. And yeah, like JRZ said, we're going to be doing a, a discussion today about whether DLC pack 1 and 2 are actually worth it. Now, you may be saying, wouldn't you just be doing 2 or wouldn't you just be doing 1? No, I personally count them as the same DLC pack for just 20 bucks. So, But I'm going to get into that later. I'm just going to let JRZ give his thoughts on the DLC pack as a whole. So JRZ? All right, well, uh, initially, I didn't know what to think um, because I just had DLC Pack 1, and it was all right, DLC Pack 1 as a individual pack. It was all right. Um, I had actually gotten 10 free PSN, so I was okay with that. I didn't waste any money on it. Bruh. But, <laughs> but if I, for $10, DLC Pack 2 made up for it because we got, what, extra, extra character. And I like I like the parallel quests. They're 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 actually pretty difficult uh, at, 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 to an extent. Like Pan keeps attacking me when we're doing. Oh my God, Pan in DLC Pack One, Pan keeps attacking uh, one of the parallel quests, and you have to defeat er, uh, Trunks and Goku first so he they could turn Super Saiyan Four. And it's really annoying because Pan's being a little bit. Okay, well, anyways, uh, DLC Pack Two. Um, I, I really liked it. I liked the the story mode. It was uh, pretty fun. That last that last mission at first got me out of out of nowhere, dude. Oh my god, it was freaking a uh, baby, uh, <laughs> baby with Android Super Seventeen and Omega Shenron, and they were they the first time they raped me. I was pretty disgusted because <laughs> they were like triple teaming me, and Super Saiyan Four Gogeta was not doing anything. I was, I was like, what the? But in my opinion, I think it's worth it. Uh, no matter what, I'm a DBZ fan, and, and I'm going to get DLC packs because I'm that type of person that I want to have everything in the game. You know what I mean? And I just love Dragon Ball Z, and anything that can add on to the game, I just love. And, um, all right, well, I'm going to let Rob the Sand go. And for for y'all view, viewers, um, he just got the game like four days ago, so he didn't get DLC pack one. But he's gonna be talking about DLC Pack Two. All right, go ahead, Robert. Uh, yeah, from uh from the DLC Pack Two, uh, I like it a lot. You know, uh, I didn't, I haven't got the opportunity to play DLC Pack One, but from what I played from DLC Pack Two, it's pretty awesome. The PQs, uh, not too easy, but uh, they're not too hard either, but they're just the right amount. You know, uh, I like the rewards you get from the PQs. Uh, other than that, it's a great pack. I think it's worth the money. Alright, Joey. Oh. DBC gone! <laughs> 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 I didn't know I didn't know I had to say so. <laughs> Alright, so for me, it's like a lot of people were expecting a lot about DLC pack one. He's nuts. <laughs> DLC Pack 1 and DLC Pack 2, a lot of people were expecting a lot of the story, this and that, all that kind of stuff. To me, I really didn't like the story a lot, but I wasn't expecting that much out of it, so I wasn't getting myself hype. The characters, uh, we talk, DLC Pack 2, the, D the characters were just awesome. The characters were good, Mira and Toa, a lot of people disagree with Mira and Toa being in DLC Pack 2, they should have been in the game in the first place, but to me, they're very awesome characters, and yeah, they should have been in the game in the first place, but all well, they weren't. To me, they're great characters. Nova Shenron, I Shenron, awesome characters right there. DLC Pack 1, however, um, to me, the only unique characters, even though it only came with three, was Goku, Kid Goku, and GT, and Pan. Those were the only two unique characters. It also had Trunks GT, which is just a costume, which I'm not going to get into in this video. So really, there was only two new characters in DLC Pack 1. And to me, the characters were good. The parallel quests were really hard, in my opinion, as well. Some of them got hard if you did the... If you got into, like, the secret events or whatever, they were very difficult. 
And I enjoyed that. It was just very awesome. Right there to close. It was alright. And DLC Pack 2 to close are a lot better. Masters in terms of Masters. I don't like how Pans are Master. I would have preferred if you could have got her Supers off a of Parallel Quest and stuff like that. And maybe you could have got her Ultimate off a of Parallel Quest because her Supers and stuff like that, they're really not that great. The only, in my opinion, the only thing people really care about is her Ultimate. So to me, I, I don't think Pan should have been a Master. Maybe... No, fuck. Pan, yeah. Keep going. Yeah, keep I, going. I just, just don't think Pan should have been a master, in my personal opinion. Maybe if they would have had... I, I don't even know who they have at a master, but I just don't think Pan was a great master. All in all, D GT DLC pack was very interesting. I didn't enjoy it. But the only thing I really didn't like was the story, but I really didn't expect much out of it. So, that's kind of all I really had to say. Oh, and the z -Soul. The z -Souls were also very good as well. That's another main element of uh, the DLC pack. The z -Souls were awesome as well. So, overall, I thought the DLC pack 1 and 2 were pretty freaking good. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. But, uh, yeah, my thoughts. So, number one, I just want to agree and disagree with Joey, all right? So, let's agree right quick, all right? Those Z-Souls are pretty darn epic. Like, they're, 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 they're really good, all right? Especially Nova Shinron Z-Soul. When I equip it on my character, it, oh my god, he's, uh, oh, she's got, like, like, it's just, like, it's, like, the perfect Z-Soul for my character, um, the characters overall, they're really good. Now, uh, I do disagree with Joey about Pan being a master. Maybe she should have been a master in DLC Pack 1. And I also feel like Goku GT should have been a master since he has literally four moves that you can learn. And there's no reason for him not to be a master. But I actually like Pan's moves, actually, to be honest. Because Faint Shot is actually pretty good. It, like especially at first because like you teleport and people aren't expecting you to teleport again and then you hit them with something and it's like you know that's pretty epic um i love her ultimate you know her other moves that she had were pretty darn good but you know um as the characters overall i personally think gt pack one characters were pretty all right um i love playing this goku gt and like i said i love pan's move set GT Trunks is alright, he's just a more powerful version of Trunks pretty much, so I'm not gonna complain about that, but all the characters in DLC Pack 2 are fun to play with, like, they they did a good job with those characters, alright, so I gotta give it up to Dems a little bit, alright, because they, they, they did a really good job with those characters, in my personal opinion. Now, the story could have been a little better, um, I feel like they should have added the stuff, you know, where it shows the alternate events beforehand, I also feel like they missed out on a lot of important key battles, but they've been doing that throughout the entire Xenoverse story, and that kind of sucks. And it's like, you know, I would I would have kind of liked to see you go against Super Baby instead of Baby Vegeta, like the Grade 8 one, come out of nowhere. That was just kind of, it kind of turned me off a little bit. So, um, but, you know, DLC Pack 1 and 2 in terms of story together aren't bad. They're just not that good either, you know what I'm saying? So, um, the Parallel Quests, they're kind of challenging. They're really fun to play, all right, especially DLC Pack 2, like, Parallel Quests, they're actually really good, all right, they're really good, I really like those Parallel Quests, I like the rewards you get from them, the costumes are awesome, like I said, the Z-Souls are awesome, the moves are pretty darn awesome, and, you know, you get three Masters, you get a whole bunch of characters, you get a new stage, you get more PQs, you know, you get all this stuff, so, in my personal opinion, I honestly think that is it worth 20 bucks altogether? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, look, 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 right, look, right. For the season pass people, you might be lucky. Because DLC Pack 3, if it's worth the $10 like DLC Pack 2 is, then basically you are paying 5 bucks for DLC Pack 1. However, in terms of people like me that actually got them separately for some odd reason, I don't know why I got them separately, but DLC Pack 1, in my, my opinion, is worth half of it. Half of 10, you know, 5 bucks. I'd say it's around the 5 buck mark, but 10, like DLC Pack 2 is worth the 10 bucks, all right, in my personal opinion, um, I mean, maybe they could have lowered it a little bit to about 7 or 8, maybe, and made them together be about 15 or somewhere around there, but 
I mean, I don't regret paying 20 bucks. And another thing I want to say right before I end it off, like my thoughts, the Xenoverse character roster actually doesn't look that bad after, you know, all the DLC. It actually looks pretty darn decent for a character roster, all right? So, yeah, that's that's all I really had to say. So what are you guys' overall thoughts? Like, what do you, well, do you think it's worth it? or? In my opinion, what I would have... What what I would have loved to see oh, worth twenty bucks um, is um, these nuts. <laughs> okay. Uh, I totally agree with that. Okay. All right. So I do there... as well. Yeah. I, yeah. I agree as well. They should have added those for sure. I should have been a Zisol. You can't touch these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh. All right. So is there anything else you guys have to say before Black Super Saiyan takes it out? No. No. Said everything. All right, so Black Super Saiyan, why don't you take it out? All right, let me just say something right quick before we take it out. I am the booty warrior, you whether you like it or not. All right, I'm, I'm just saying, I got a pirate ship and everything. <laughs> All right, so I'm here with my bros, JRZ. You know, he hit the 1,000, so go support him. Try to get him the 2,000, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We, he, hit one, he hit one milestone. He Why used a cheat code. And get him to another one. <laughs> Why don't we go ahead and get him to another one, you know what I'm saying? So go support JRZ. Go support Rob the Sand. I think he has a YouTube channel. Um, if he does, I'll link him in the description. You guys should know DBZ God by now, so go ahead and subscribe to Joey. Um... If you can get past half of the video being his intro, then I, I'm pretty sure you'll all, you'll you'll love his videos. Right? You already so, lost your ship. It's over. You already lost your ship. <laughs> no, Sit I down. Shut up. <laughs> Twitter. But, yeah, this has been the Booty Warrior, aka Black Super Saiyan, aka Mr. Butter Smooth, aka Mr. AKA. Uh, so yeah, this has been Black Super Saiyan. As I always say, guys, keep it cool, keep it butter smooth, and I'm out. Fuck you guys. Hey, suck my dick. <laughs> 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 <laughs>